Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back on our toy review This time for the Super Sentai Resha Sentai Tokyuja DX Build Dio Alright, so Build Dio uh, I'm gonna move this apart So, over here Okay Shift the camera down Over here we see two uh, Reshas So despite the fact that it's two Reshas It's actually um, It has only one name which is uh, Build Dio so, um, build dio, let me see, can I fit this here? Never tried this before, but uh, yeah, you can sort of unofficially form a very long uh, resha for this, which is cool. Alright, so this is a uh, build dio. Oh, oh, no, 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 I know why I got it wrong. Okay, you can actually flip this down, and then on the other side, okay, it has a hole here, and this one has a connection point. So over here, yeah, this is how Build Dio can be very long. Okay, sorry, my camera is not long enough uh, to capture the view of how long this is, but this is uh, Build Dio. So, uh, feature of this, uh, sorry, feature of the Build Resha itself, okay, it's uh, very normal. So, you can actually move the crane, but once you move the crane this way, you actually see the robot head. But if you move to the other side, it's okay, it's covered. And over here, you have the uh, crane as well, you know, for excavation purpose. Right, so cool. No, cool. Basically, is how it is. And uh, when it combines, or when it's in trail form, it actually moves up over here all the way and locks himself up here. So this is uh, usually how uh, build pressure appears. And the combination transformation is actually very simple. What you need to do, is actually press this orange tab here, lower the legs. Press the other orange tab, lower the legs. Right. Rotate them, rotate the thighs, move up, okay? That's almost done with the combination. Move the hands down and the head face front and there you have it. Build Dio. In fact, Build Dio comes in robot mode when you when you buy it from the package. So it comes pre-packed as a in a robot form in the package. So Build Dio, nice uh, toy. I mean, Again, for most entire toys, very simple articulation. All he has for his uh, special attack is his crane attack, which you do see in the show. Okay, this is the uh, crane attack. So, built out a very orange uh, robot. I think it's the first time that we ever had an orange uh, ranger in uh, Sentai history, which is very cool. And uh, likewise, built Dio can actually carry uh, Tokyo's uh, weapon in one hand as well. So, this is cool. This is cool, this is cool, this is cool. So, simple looking robot. Uh, he does look, you know, like a, uh, you know, those uh, railway worker. So this is really adaptable and really apt for the character because in the uh, series itself, the Orange Ranger is some sort of a railway worker as well. So this is cool. And it's a very heavy, hefty, nice uh, feel the robot. And here we compare this uh, with uh, Chio Tokyo. okay? Chou Tokyo basically is uh, slightly taller because of the uh, crest and, and, the, and the shoulder cannons but apart from that, they are about the same uh, height you know, just you know, he just beefier which is really cool alright, so without further ado, I'm just going to go into the combination uh, to form this too uh, the combination, the combined form of this is really lame the, the name is called Chou Chou Tokyo which means Chou, which is super, so it means Super Super Tokyo so we have Tokyo combined with Diesel O to form Chio Tokyo Super Tokyo, and then we have a combination with Build Dio because to call it Chio Chio Tokyo, which is Super Super Tokyo. I mean the the name is a bit lame, but uh, it is what it is. Oh well. So to form Chio Chio Tokyo, right, we need to separate this uh, this guy. So we're gonna take this out first. Okay. For the lower parts, it's uh, very easy. So we need to press this lever. Uh, to move it up, all right, and over here we rotate this, rotate this, press this. Oh, we're gonna press this uh, button to lower this uh, feet. So we press this, okay? Press this to lower the feet, okay? So when you move up, actually it locks it in place. You can hear the click when you push it, she lower it. So the packs are already over here. See the packs over here, the black packs over here. They basically fit into the uh, packs over here as well. So all you need to do is just to uh, align them. Okay, I'm gonna do it in camera. Try to do it in camera. Align it over here. 
okay one of them okay got this in place and move the other one got this in place and there you have it the low legs are done so the legs uh, combination of a uh, chiochio tokyo is done all right so i'm gonna move on to the other parts of it so for the other parts of it you need to remove this hand okay you remove the hands all right and once you remove it you are going to uh, combine them again okay because this is going to form the uh, weapon so over here what i'm going to do is just gonna lift out this handle okay and over here you're going to place this over here so make sure you place this over here this is on top okay so you place it over here and there you have the uh, long weapon for Chocho Tokyo but before that we're gonna go on to the uh, the uh, combination for the head you need to take this uh, crane uh, you need to take this crane piece out all right and over here you press this okay press this and you're gonna rotate the whole thing upwards all right lock it in place okay this is gonna form the chest component and then you're gonna rotate this as such 90 degrees I'm gonna close them, okay, close them in, lock it in place. So this is going to form uh, the top chest portion for the um, Chio Chio Tokyo. All right, so this one being placed, okay, I'm gonna leave the camera, I'm gonna move this up, okay, I'm gonna close this, uh, eh, no, you're gonna leave, you're gonna leave this portion here because it's gonna form the head. So over here, this part, all right, these are uh, the packs. Let me see where the uh, packs are. So these two orange packs over here, they're gonna fit into the packs over here, the black packs over here. So what I'm gonna do right now, just gonna fit them in. Okay, Keep the camera can capture it. Fit in. Okay, so this part is done. So for the head, very simple. The end of the head, uh, you gotta fit this uh, this pack over here, this orange pack, into this black pack over here. So basically you just put it in here okay and then the visor comes down and there you have it and this part okay we'll go to the top over here so i'll fit into the pack and then you have it okay it's really really tall so this is chiu chiu tokyo weapon goes into his arm oh sorry and then you got to uh, lift the shovel down a little bit okay that's a sort of a support for the weapon place it over here and there you have it Cho Cho Tokyo really nice really really nice um doesn't add much to the height okay let me just move this one to the back slightly anymore so I can see I can try to capture the uh, whole robot on camera wow it's still too big still too big too big too big too big let me just shift it a little bit further back can I okay I can barely barely capture the entire robot but yes there it is Chiu Chiu Tokyo very nice uh, getting heavier because right now you have uh, more rashes uh, cool um, cool robot let me just move the camera over here just that the uh, the joints looks a bit weird because you see the uh, chest is actually elevated upwards but then right now it seems that the arms are downwards so the arms would be good if they are over here but they can't due to the way the robot is built but if you look at it uh, from a uh, perspective like this, it actually looks not bad. It looks it actually looks quite good. So this is how the uh, add-on robot actually uh, feels like. And over here at the uh, bottom, all right. For the bottom, I think uh, some people do not like the fact that you know it's, a, it's like a moving trailer. But that's the way it is. Uh, and I think in the uh, show itself, it looks slightly different. I think this part doesn't appear. So you really don't like the uh, the fact that it looks like a. Uh, a, he's, he's riding on a skateboard or so all you need to do basically you can just uh, plug this out plug this out so this becomes the standalone so all you need to do just to uh, plug in the legs themselves okay to form the bottom of the feet okay one side is done now plug in for the other side as well and there you have it so it holds pretty well despite the fact it's on one pack um, and yeah so for those of you who doesn't uh, like to see uh, Chocho Tokyo as if he's uh, having uh, additional back cable you want to see him as a basically like a whole robot so this is how you can do it just uh, remove this part 
and there you have it so it's really cool uh i like the overall combination i mean the tokyo himself and in, in terms of its color wise looks a bit really kiddish but i think uh chocho -cho tokyo with all the combination and everything looks pretty fantastic and pretty nice and i i pretty quite like the uh combination of this robot i'm gonna put it put back the um put back this okay let's put them back yeah can put them back here i think it's pretty cool that it looks as if he's riding on a uh on uh roller skates so I think Chiu Chiu Tokyo is really nice um, and, and the, the final robot is the uh, Hyper Resha which is this giant robot uh, carrier um, not really impressed by it because the uh, the robot itself looks ugly uh, the combined form is even more lame basically you just lengthen the whole train and just plucking trains over there it looks really uh, lazy effort for Bandai to come with their final combiner. So I think I'm very happy with this. Um, I will not get um, Hyper Resha for now uh, because uh, I just think it's not worth the price. I will probably wait for it to go on fire sale. It's gonna, it definitely will happen over here in Singapore. We'll get it for fire sale sometime later uh, because I don't think that toy will sell anyway. So once it goes on fire sale for anything less than 50 US, I will buy it. Uh, definitely not at this current price about 130 or 40 US dollars so yeah so for now this is the end of my uh, oh yes and by the way for the rest of the uh, Reshas like Drill Resha uh, Drill Resha Shield Resha and uh, what other Resha there's one more Resha Drill Resha Shield the Resha Energy Resha those basically those Reshas that come uh, with the weapons I am not getting them uh, for now uh, probably get them later when they go on fire sale uh, just to complete my Tokyo uh, Tokyo Rashers. So uh, here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.